Now, the Netflix documentary Beckham has broken viewing figure records, leaving many viewers admiring David and Victoria. In it, David appears to refer to what he calls horrible stories about him back in 2004, the same year that Rebecca Luz alleged she'd had an affair with him, which he has always denied, saying it left him feeling sick every day. So now Rebecca Luz has responded, saying the documentary is all poor me and David needs to take responsibility. She said he can say whatever he likes, of course, and I understand he has an image to preserve, but he is portraying himself as the victim and he's making me look like a liar, like I've made up these stories. He's indirectly suggesting that I'm the one who has made <coughs> Victoria suffer. So, two sides, obviously, to this. I have to say about the, the documentary, um, I, I hadn't watched it and then so many people were talking about it and saying it's really good. And I started to watch, I'm on episode two, it's brilliantly made, mm. um, and I could, I'd forgotten, actually, how vilified he was after that World Cup game when he mm. kicked someone. So, it's actually quite interesting to go back and hear their side of things, Brenda, but obviously mm. it is just their side of things. Yes. What did you make of it? How much have you watched? I watched it and I, I loved it. Have, have you friend... watched all yes, of it? Yes, I have. <laughs> you know me, I, I yeah. vegetate on it. Um, and, uh, yeah, a friend told me to watch it and I was like, OK. And it was very... Doom, 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 doom. So I had to go on to the next episode, yeah. the next episode. <laughs> um, and as you said, uh, I was... I, I'd forgotten how much she was vilified for um, the World Cup um, thing. And what what became very apparent to me watching it then, which is watching it now, was he was only 21 years of age and he literally had the whole world mm. against him. And, you know, we, we talk a lot about mental health issues and, you know, the pressure that that must have been... So for young, some, ..because yeah. he was catapulted. And, really, he was the only footballer of that time that had brands in, yeah. in, 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 invested in him and this one was in... and that one. So, you know, not to say that that doesn't excuse yeah. any behaviour, but you can't put yourself in that picture all those years ago when he was 21, when you look at how it is now, it's just out of control. You've watched it, Kelly. Yeah. yeah. I did, I did watch it. I, I, I love it. I, I really love seeing the other side of the story because we get, like, the press's perspective, don't we? Um, but we don't really get the, the internal perspective. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, and it made... I just wish... It's just my wish that I wish that they'd addressed the alleged affair a little bit more because I feel like it was a bit swept over, whereas everything was really detailed, wasn't it? Everything yeah. else that happened, there was there was a lot of detail of surrounding what had happened and the in, the interviews from different perspectives, I would have liked I to... I suppose it's a difficult time. I know you haven't watched it, Janet, but obviously you will remember the story yeah. at the time. I'm, I've met, I've met the, Beckhams, yeah. the Beckhams on several occasions. I know the story and I've no intention of mm. watching it. I think the fact of the matter is David Beckham was a brilliant footballer. And I love watching documentaries about brilliant sportsmen and women. I've watched the one on Boris Becker that was on recently. Um, and I would find that aspect of it fascinating. Oh, they do cover that hugely. Yeah, but what I'm not interested in is a PR, very manicure portrait of their marriage and their relationship, which at the end of the day, as you say, the press only give us one view of the Beckhams. The Beckhams only give us what they want us to see. It's very tightly controlled because, ultimately, it's all about brand prote protection and maximising their income. Well, I suppose that is why we're discussing it, because that's... <laughs> yeah, that, that's really what Rebecca Luz has said. I mean, this is all an alleged affair. He's denied it, obviously. But what she's saying mm. is... You know, that's the, their side of the story. And then suddenly she'd gone away to Norway. She's married now, having a quiet life. And this has all come back. And mm. that took us a turn this morning, talking about... She had a very difficult time at the time, branded the kind of the home wrecker and things. Yes, because she was think... like the nanny. Yeah, do, she do was a, a small PA person is, in this yeah. big, a PA in this big. But do you think thing? women generally, Janet, are treated more harshly when it comes to affairs? Do you think, you know, she's the other woman, mm. she's the home wrecker, mm. she broke up a marriage? Mm. Well, I've, um, per speaking personally, I've never had a relationship with a married man, uh, so uh, that's not something that would apply to me. And also, I don't experience the feeling of guilt in looking back in any of my relationships and any of my affairs. I mean, they just happened. I don't feel guilty about them. If people want to take a pot shot at me, uh, they can. I'm, I'm pretty thick-skinned, but I do feel that on balance, women don't get a fair 
a fair mm. press, I think. Do you think? Uh, well, the thing... Mm. The thing for me is it seems to be... It seems to be when there's a story leaked, then it's the woman that's leaked it. And I think that might be where it's like the woman's like, I'm, I'm the one that's in the background. And that's a lot of the time when it comes to light. So I think that's why it's like, you know, she's quick to sell her story, <coughs> quick to tell her story. Whatever the story may be. You might have one thing... Well, one thing hang on a minute. Thing, My husband one, sold a yeah. story about me, Brenda. My husband sold his story when I did I'm a Celebrity. That husband I got rid of years before, sold a story to the news of the world of people, mm. and the headline was, Jungle Janet is a beast in bed. <laughs> well... <laughs> I did say a lot of the time. I didn't say all of the time, but yeah. you know, sorry. obviously, the, sorry the, if, there's, if, the, if that's okay. But if there's a if there's a history, then somebody might feel, well, she's had three before, so I'm going to do it and, and be number four. So that might be what was going on with Janet. I don't really know, but <laughs> with with the, you've got you got one thing. It's one thing where you are. Um, a part, you're, you're in a relationship and you think, you really believe that you're in that relationship with that person and there's nobody else. And then you find out years later that there's somebody else in the wings. That's something different to where you know that there's, there's somebody. You're living in the yard and you're there doing whatever, if you, allegedly, and, or not, mm. or whatever, but you're in the house. So I just think it's a different thing. Do you think the Scarlet Woman, she's always painted as the Scarlet Woman, whatever the story is? Well, <sighs> You know, unfortunately, I mean, I'm not proud of it, but I've actually, I've actually been, I actually did have uh, a relationship with a married man. Um, he did present himself as, you know, single. You know, you know, it was, it's you know, all all like, mm. you know, we're separated now, <laughs> so that's all done and dusted. But later on, I found out that he was still married, and you know, and yes, I, you know, I could be looked at as that person that's a home wrecker, and I've done this and I've done that. I, I didn't know, mm. so I, I couldn't have done anything about it. But I think it's really, I, I think what I think is really important is that that we look at the the marriage. It's the marriage that the, the where the contract is. Not saying that what I did was right. It wasn't. But yeah, mm. the marriage. But, that, yeah, that, but you, that where he the contract misled is you actually. Yeah. What you said anyway. Okay. Well, thank you for that.